Transport Phenomena in Biosystem Module 9 Thermal Conductivity and Mechanisms of Energy Transport Segment 6 Work Associated with Molecular Motions With me Yusuf from School of Life Sciences and Phenology, Institute Technology Bandung Previously, we have discussed about Fourier's Law of Heat Conduction, Heat Conductivity Thermal conductivity of solids, effective thermal conductivity of composite solids, and convective transport of energy. In this segment, we will discuss about work associated with molecular motions. In this segment, we will discuss how to apply the law of conservation of energy to shells or to small elements of volume fixed in space. The law of conservation of energy for an open flow system is an extension of the first law of classical thermodynamics for a closed system at rest. The change in internal energy is equal to the amount of heat added to the system plus the amount of work done on the system. For flow system, we shall need to account for the heat added to the system by molecular motions and by bulk fluid motion and also for the work done on the system by the molecular motions. Therefore, we have to develop an expression for the rate of work done by the molecular motions. When a force Fx on a body and cause it to move through a distance dr, the work done is dw equals to fdr. Then the rate of doing work is the dot product of the force times the velocity. The formula also can be applied to the three perpendicular planes at a point P in space as shown in the right figure. Let's consider the surface element perpendicular to the x-axis. The fluid on the minus side of the surface exerts a force pi x ds on the fluid that is on the plus side. Since the fluid is moving with the velocity v, the rate at which work is done by the minus fluid on the plus side is pi x v ds. Rate of work expressions per unit area for all surface elements are given by equation 9.22 until equation 9.24. When these scalar components are multiplied by the unit vectors and added, we can obtain the rate of doing work vector per unit area, also known as work flux, which can be expressed by equation 9.25. The combined energy flux vector E can be expressed by equation 9.26. The E vector is the sum of the convective energy flux, the rate of doing work per unit area by molecular mechanisms, and the rate of transporting heat per unit area by molecular mechanisms. All the terms in equation 9.26 have the same sign convention, so that Ex is the energy transport in the positive x direction per unit area per unit time. The total molecular stress tensor can now be split into two parts as shown in equation 9.27. The term PV can then be combined with the internal energy term to give an enthalpy term so that the combined energy flux vector can be expressed by equation 928. The enthalpy per unit mass at the reference states can be expressed by equation 929. For the next module, we will discuss about shell energy balances and temperature distribution in solid and laminar flow. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.